Let's take a look at which products are genetically modified that you may be eating every day. Here's Frito corn chips and Doritos made from genetically modified corn equals from aspartame made from genetically modified microorganisms. Bread, which this bread contains soybean oil and soy flour from genetically modified soy and corn flakes, of course, genetically modified corn. Now you've got soy infant formula from genetically modified soy and baby food from GM corn. Now the milk can not only be from cows that are fed genetically modified corn and soy, but also the cows may be injected with bovine growth hormone, which changes the structure of the milk in ways that have made the Canadian government reject it, as well as the Europeans, Japanese, Australians, etc. It's now banned in most American dairies, but not all of them, so look for products that say no RBST, no RBGH, or organic. Now here's some non-GM products. You have the corn chips that say specifically on the package non-GMO. You have sugar. Now this sugar is actually regular sugar, so this is genetically modified from sugar beets, but this sugar is from cane sugar, which specifically says not from beet sugar on there. Now beet sugar is genetically engineered. This is from cane sugar, so it's automatically non-GMO because it doesn't include any at-risk ingredients. And this is an organic baby formula, so it won't contain GMOs. And this is a chocolate. Chocolate, I'm afraid, contains soy lecithin, but this particular product the chocolate from endangered species is non-GMO and is listed in the non-GMO shopping guide. You have organic valley milk. Again, it does not allow animals to be fed genetically modified feed or for the animals to be injected with bovine growth hormone. And nature's path cornflakes, which is organic and therefore non-GMO. So if you do a little digging, you can find products that are either organic, say non-GMO, or avoid the at-risk ingredients from the nine genetically modified food crops. Safe eating.